Nothing like some fresh kale in December from your backyard. Roland Peltier can eat fresh veggies year round thanks to this unique garden. It's called aquaponics and it's all based on the cycle of using fish waste to fertilize the plants, while the plants then filter the fish's water. Basically it's uh, all about uh, the bacteria cycle, so fish produce ammonia when they're breathing and when they're doing their waste processing in the, in the water. And that ammonia is simply pumped up into a grow bed, which is either has expanded clay pellets or volcanic rock. And the plants act as a biofilter and clean all the water for the fish. So what we have is this beautiful nutrient rich water with lots of ammonia being pumped um, through this pump here into the media based um, garden, the grow bed. And what we simply have is some lava rock in here. And the reason we're using this is because it's very porous and it gives lots of room for um, naturally occurring bacteria uh, to grow. So as this um, garden bed fills up with water, it has an automatic drain down here. And this will drain into our sump tank, which will pump the water back through this hose and into our fish tank. Pelche says aquaponics uses 90% less water than regular soil gardening and food can grow up to twice as fast. It's a big reason why Stephen Weeb decided to get a system of his own in his backyard greenhouse. If you want to conserve on water and have some really good nutritious food at home and especially if you have kids, kids just love the interaction of the fish and the plants and all that. It's just a fun hobby plus I take 20 steps out the backyard and I can grab the food I want even in the winter time here. Aquaponics isn't a new technology, the history goes back centuries. The Aztecs were doing a form of aquaponics about 700 years ago. I found out about it uh, just through my own research and it resonates in my heart and that's what I want to teach this. So I do go to the schools and I, and I teach kids about Aboriginal wisdom, I teach them about food security and uh, I teach them about how cooperative systems in nature thrive. This aquaponics system is set up at Mission Hill Elementary and staff say it's been a great teaching tool for students. You know anytime a, a, a child sees the growth of the plants. It engages the kids, they become um, more interested. Really, when you look beyond that, it's on, on a deeper level, addresses uh, societal and envir environmental issues that uh, the kids are gonna be facing in their future. I care because I have a little boy that I'm raising right now, and uh, I wanna leave him a clean, healthy earth so he can have kids. Pelche has his aquaponics system set up in close to 10 schools across the province. To learn more, visit vortexaquaponics.ca. For Go on Shaw TV, I'm Jamie Ross.